Good morning. Good morning. If you would, please pray for the healing of my mother. She's 92. Her name is Pearl Caldwell. About 12 days ago, she was reaching for something on the floor and fell over. Um, she normally uses a walker right now. She's in a rehabilitation center in Humble, and um, she's in a wheelchair. And um, by the grace of God, nothing was broken on the inside of the knees, but the outside is bruised. And so pray for her healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father God, I thank you that today you will bring forth this word from my lips. Let it be pleasing to you, my Lord and may others receive it and through you in Jesus name thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you Holy Spirit for listening ears in Jesus name amen. amen we in this area of Texas live near water the nature's river at the port of Beaumont flows into the Sabine River at the, the port of Port Arthur, Texas. I live in Winning, 17 miles from the Gulf of Mexico. The communities of High Island, uh, Gilchrist, Ch uh, Chap Kaplan, Crystal Beach, and Port Bolivar make up Bolivar Peninsula. At Bolivar Peninsula, there is a ferry that provides free service to all travelers to and from Galveston Island. This 2.7 mile trip takes about 18 minutes by water. If you're ever in that area, drive through Fort Travis to see the military bunkers which were completed in 1899. In the summer, please stay in your vehicles the mosquito spot planful. That's your Texas history and geography lesson for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the previous mention is natural water. That few, uh, even if they were thirsty, would not drink a cup full. The message is on the spiritual water. This message is on the spiritual water. My inspiration was from the song, I've got a river of life flowing, life of, of life flowing within me. Uh, most of my scripture are already pre-typed, so you can either note them down or follow if you can. <laughs> Matthew 3, 13 through 17. During Jesus' times on earth, the Jordan River is where Jesus was baptized by his cousin, John the Baptist. At that moment, heaven opened and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning on him. Verse 17, and lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. John 4, 1 through 25. Jesus was en route to Galilee. He had a need to go through Samaria. And this is a question I'm asking the audience. There was a Samaritan woman who went to the well in the heat of the day to avoid others. The school kids referred to this. Why did she do this? She was avoiding bullies. So bullies aren't only in children's life, they're also in adult life where you have peer pressure. But Jesus offered her for a drink of eternal water. She received his word and went to the village to tell others about this man that knew all about her and had changed her life with a drink 
from his living water. By her witness of Christ, others came to be told of him for the next two days. John 4, 14 reads, But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Jesus is the source of the river of life, Amen. which flows from the throne. He is now in heaven at the right hand of the Father. References are Hebrews 1, 3, 1 Peter, um, 1 Peter 3, 2, and 98 more verses throughout your Bible will confirm that Jesus is at the right hand of the Father. Isaiah 66, 1, heaven is God's throne and earth is his footstool. Romans 8, 34 and Hebrews 4, 16, let us therefore come to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and grace to help in time of need. Amen. Revelations 2, 7. He that had the ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. We are the churches. Wherever we live, wherever we abide, God has ordained that for us to be in that location. But we are his ambassadors. We are his examples for that community, and as we go and walk, whether we're at work or wherever we are, we are the church. This is the church building. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Some have turned a deaf ear or itching ear to the real meaning of the word and gone into their traditions, and others have discarded or done away with the original word and meaning of the sacred um, Bible. And others are uh, doing things their own way. God gave a series of warnings and encouragement to the church. Revelations 2, verse 4. You have left your first love. With help from Matthew Henry's commentary, I will express that Christ is displeased with some of his people. He is seeing them grow cold toward him. He is warning them about their indifference to sin. They must repent, stop, exchange truth for error good for evil, and folly for the lack of fear and reverence and respect for God. Though they claim to be erecting buildings for God's worship. The church life, the Christian life, is, um, is warfare against sin, Satan, and the world and flesh. We must never yield to our spiritual enemies. The blue, the blue letter Bible, as well as uh, the Bible Gateway, are instruments that I utilize to study and to listen to on uh, of the Bible of my choice. Today I'm going to play a segment from. Ezekiel 47, 1 through 12. You may either read along, close your eyes and meditate on the word, or you can leave your eyes open. But what I want you to do is picture yourself at the river. Entrance to the temple. 
I saw water coming out from under the threshold of the temple toward the east. For the temple faced east. The water was coming down from under the south side of the temple, south of the altar. It then brought me out through the north gate and led me around the outside to the outer gate facing east. And the water was trickling from the south side. As the man went east, he the measuring man. Man in his hand. Well, he man. Off a thousand well, well, version. Well, I can't understand. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What version is the version with the That was the NIV. NIV, information within these two um, 
uh, devices that uh, two types of books that you can use. One is Bible Gateway, and the other one is the Blue Letter Bible. And I utilize these a lot uh, in my study and other people that are learning to read or need to help with their reading can utilize these also. In Revelations 22, 1 and 2, pure river of water of life, clear at the glass, proceeding out of the throne of God and out of the Lamb, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river was the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruit, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the trees were for the healing of the nations. Psalms 46, 4 through 5. These are scriptures that are confirming what Ezekiel has already said. There is a river the streams where of uh, shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and write early. Yes, those of us who have accepted Jesus Christ as our Savior and Lord are living in the present life in our earth suits of skin. Because we have accepted Jesus, we're able to stand, not in our own power, but in his power, because we have on the whole armor of God, 24-7. Jesus promised us that after he had died on the cross, was risen from a grave and ascended to heaven, God sent the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, to live inside his people. That's John 16. This is John 7. It's going to be John 17, verse 21 and 26. Verse 17. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it sees him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, and he dwells in you, and he shall be in you. Verse 21, he that has my commandments and keepeth them, he is that loveth, has my commandments and keepeth them, he is that loveth me. And he that loveth of my Father and I love him, and will manifest myself to him. Verse 26, but the Comforter, who is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. John 7, 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. The Greek word, and I'll spell it K-O-I-L, L-I-A-S, Corlias means heart. And you also have hearts in your mind, in your brain. In the Hebrew way of thinking, your belly represents the seat of your emotions and your deepest inner parts. The way we talk about the heart. Do you have that assurance of if you died today, where would you spend eternity? Does it, does, doesn't everyone go to heaven? Few may say, God is love. I'm a good person. I help other people. My parents are pastors. I attended church when I was a child. Doesn't that count? I go to church. I know about God. The question still remains. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Please, everyone, repeat after me. 
I repent of my sins. And I ask Jesus to forgive me. Jesus, come into my heart as Savior and Lord. Holy Spirit, help me. Find a, Find a church where I can learn more, learn more about, this about this living water and this new life. This In, Jesus In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Happy Thanksgiving. Amen. Amen.